Good to go. Hey folks, Ben here, uh, Pemberton Fish Finder. Usually this is Friday night flies. We're going to do Saturday afternoon flies. We just come up with a whole game changer here. We're going to take it out on the Lillooet Lake tonight and hopefully smoke a couple big springs. Chinook sound. Camera down, please. And we're doing a little test tonight to try some new products out online just to see if it comes in a little bit better. So we've got a whole bunch of new gear here. We've got some Dragonfly chenille, uh, UV chenille, and uh, a couple other bits and pieces. we got a cone hook. This fly we call the Goat Stream, and uh, this is going to kill it tonight. So in this fly, you will have a size 4 streamer hook, and then we got our Dragonfly... Uh, Seven thirty seconds cone head. We got some dragonfly red saddle hackle. That's uh, that's giving us our little skirt there, make it look like some uh, gills or a bit of bleeding. We got some uh, UV ultra uh, UV crystal flash here in pearl color, and we got our goat hair. This is making the goat streamer. And as always, the dragonfly peacock curl just for the head oh and let's not forget this one where's that main ingredient here we go flip it around let's have a look the uh the medium uv polar, polar chenille. chenille in all and of that does our body here that fills it out so here we go i'm gonna pop that guy out and we're gonna start fresh here there we go in the vise on top of it. I'd have my cone head on ready. Man, I am impressed with the difference of that picture. I just hope it records it well. well. Let's just see. So I'm slipping the cone head on. Kablamo. Now we're just going to start covering this shank in some thread. Don't be afraid to use a bunch because we've got a lot of material going on there. I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping, I'm wrapping. Is that your bike sitting outside? That's my bike outside. Don't touch it. You want me to bring it inside? Uh, no, I'm just letting it dry. I just got it back from the car wash. Okay. Took her in for a full 10 speed detail. <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. Wrapping that long size four streamer hook. Cutting that tag. Now I'm going to grab a good little length here, some UV polar chenille. You'll notice on the bottom side I've got her turned. Uh, there's nothing there, so you want to try and wrap it with that bare side down and keeping as many of those UV hairs out of there. So I'm going to take a good uh, three or four inches of that and tie her in. Good anchor on that, so I'm just going to bring my thread almost back up to the eye. And let's start wrapping. When you're wrapping this gear, you always want to uh, you know, give a few little pulls so you're not, uh, you're not tangling up the, uh, the sexiness that is UV chenille. Friday night flies. That's right. We tied one of these up a few weeks ago. We were just playing around with some goat hair that we found, but uh, we've refined our technique here. And uh, as you can see from that first goat streamer we showed you, we do it big around here. There's no playing around. With all that dragonfly material we got coming in the door, uh, we can afford not to. So come down here and get some of that. There we go. A few more wraps. A couple more plucks, keeping that, keeping that good out. Oh, look at that body. Good looking. 
that body. Oh, girl, look at that body. Oh, girl, look at that body. I, I work out. When I swim up the stream, this is what I see. Every fish stops and they're looking at me. They want to bite the goat stream. Goat stream. Goat stream. It's sexy and they know it. Alright, now we'll get our skirt out here. Fish always love a little bit of red. There we go. Got a nice little piece of skirt. I'll pull a couple of couple of plumes out of there so we got a nice little tag to tie in we'll get that tied in there now dun 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 blam snip off the end of that feather and we can take our hackle pliers pinch off up high now you can do uh you don't have to make the skirt too big on this and uh, with the bigger plumes on the end of these feathers you want to do the same uh, same idea that we were doing with that chenille is uh, pluck it out every now and then so we get a nice big uh, nice big feathered skirt popping down there It'll look like some bleeding gills get the big ones interested There we go, a few more little plucks out of there, and I'll wrap that in. Give that a snip, and then we're going to pull all those hackle fibers back and give them a little wrap down, give them that streamlined look. See how they're all sitting back there? Man, that looks good. All right, next thing we got is the goat hair thick as anything and what you want to do is when you grab your piece look at that got those super fine fibers down there I'm just trying to look at the screen so I can show you so you want to clear all those out so what I'm gonna do here is grab a section of the goat hair cut it right at the bottom right down at the hide down at the leather also makes tying uh, tying your next fly easier and we're just gonna start look at all that stuff coming out of there Ugh, just greasy so you want to clean that out as much as you can because all we want is those nice long wispy hairs out of this goat all right so there we go we got mostly cleaned out I'm just gonna go down behind here give her a good rake and we'll let this one sit about half the length of the hook again. So we got our pinch of hair there. Slide the cone up. We're going to slam her down in. Now goat hair, you want to make sure you get a good anchor on it because it is, it comes out easy. A lot easier than deer hair because it's not as hollow. And, uh, and doesn't pinch down as well. So we got part of our tail in there. Then I'm going to grab a couple of strips of this pearl, uh, UV pearl flashaboo. I'd say grab a little, good little chunk of her, maybe between 10 and 20 strands of it. Not quite as long as the, as the goat hair. We want it to sit inside of that a little bit. There we go. You see, I got a fibers out to here with the goat hair into here that UV pearl flash and we're just gonna give that a couple of wraps and anchor it down and then we'll cover that with a bit more goat hair once again same thing cut off a nice piece right at the hide about the same as you did the first time and get out all that crap we don't want that fine fluff in our goat stream. Okay, there we go. Another good amount of goat hair there. And we'll give that the anchor and wrap. Now I'll just grab my uh, 
Let's do my pearl fibers here. Give them the snip. Now we want to try and wrap into this cone as much as we can because we want to we want to bulk the back of that thing out. We got one more bit of material to go in, and that should anchor that cone down nicely. One of the reasons is is after repeated casts, you don't want that coming loose and sliding down the shank of your fly. Keep them nice and clean. All right, so I got about four uh, four good pieces of peacock curl here. You don't need a ton, but it fluffs the head up nicely. So I'm just going to put that on top of our goat hair. Give her a few wraps in there. A couple of tight wraps. Grab our snags. Give them the snip. Just re-anchor the hook. A couple more wraps, and then we're going to take these guys. And this is going to give us a head. And if you tie flies, you know how much fish love the peacock curl. The head. Yeah. And there we go. I'm going to tie that off right in behind the cone and give that a few wraps. I'm going to chop those guys off there. Did your, did your woman have a computer on at home? Uh, no. We can test something. Make mobile devices on it to see what we're looking to right now. There we go. We got a good couple wraps on there. We're going to take the whip finisher. And we want to put some good wraps on because if the uh, salmon are going to be hitting this thing like we're expecting them, we want to make sure it's good to go. The other thing the cone head does is protects the uh, whip finish knot as well because it, uh, it buries itself right in behind the cone as it's tapered. I'm feeling that there. All right, let's give her the cut. There you go, folks. You got your goat stream. So we got the uh, olive UV chenille body with a UV and goat hair wing. A little red hackle skirt. It looked like some bleeding gills and some peacock curl. Let me give her a little rotate there. You can see the bottom. Cool. Profile. Oh, nice yeah. profile. There we go. Dead sexy. Let's get out there. Tie up a goat stream. Chrome reel. Always spinning. That's right. FridayNightFlies.com and Pemberton Fish Finder. And your name is? Ben Davis. That's right, Ben Davis. Get out and get some fish. That's right.